here we have what appears to be a quiet suburban street. But what we find here, and on streets like this all around Darwin, is death. Earthworms in the tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, dead or dying, withered and crushed. They've crawled up to the surface and onto paths and roads in a desperate quest for freedom, but which turned into a lemming-like march towards mass suicide. In an attempt to understand this inexplicable event, we spoke to a local expert. Earthworms, like these guys here, are in the phylum Annelida. That means they have well-developed tissues and the beginnings of organs and organ systems. In particular, one thing they do have is a well-developed circulatory system for pumping blood around the body. In fact, it's better developed in the earthworms than in some of the other invertebrates. So what's that got to do with the mass earthworm suicide that we're starting to see around at Darwin now? At this time of year, we've just snapped into the dry season. So no more rain and the weather has turned quite chilly. Although these earthworms have a well-developed circulatory system, they have no real respiratory system. The way in which they get oxygen into the blood and around the body is across the skin. And all respiratory surfaces need to be damp in order for oxygen to pass across them. So that's why our lungs are inside our body and kept continuously moist. And one of the ways in which our vert our mammals lose most of their water is actually across the lungs. So in order for these guys to actually respire, get oxygen into their bodies, they need to be damp. And that's a problem at this time of year because the rain has stopped and it suddenly started to get very, very dry. The ground where I'm standing here is quite dry and stony. So what's happening, I think, is that the earthworms are coming up to the surface and moving around frantically, trying to find a place where it is wetter and more suitable for their survival. And of course, in an urban area, there's lots of paths, roads, and other um, dry areas like that. Uh, and unfortunately, the earthworms crawl up over them, and during the heat of the day, they get dried out and die, or they get squashed when a car goes past. The good news is, with the return of the wet season in several months' time, the population of earthworms will be back to normal very, very rapidly. Remember, they are hermaphrodites, so they have both male and female organs, reproductive organs in the same individual, which allows them to rebuild population. very rapidly. 